نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Ya once again welcome to this our study session we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it beneficial and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us yet another opportunity to be here to continue this study session of ours in the kitab usul al-thalatha of Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab bin Sulaiman al-Najdi may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him today is the 10th the 10th day in the month of Safar 1445 after the historic hijrah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam from Mecca to Medina which is equivalent to the 27th day in the month of August 2023 the Christian era this is going to be our 110th lesson bi idhnillah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us beneficial knowledge and to grant us the ability to act upon the knowledge that we acquire We are still discussing arkanul iman the pillars of iman and then we say sitta there are six alaysa kadhalik we are talking about al imanu bil malaika belief in the angels of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the aqida the belief system of the ahl sunnah al jamaa with respect to the malaika and also some of the deviants which sheikh fozan bin fozan made mention of for example like those that uh, deny the existence of the angels and they refer to the angels as prompting yani thoughts thoughts of yani uh, prompting that they are they are nothing other than al hawajis alaysa kadhalik and then if these thoughts of prompting are good in kanat huwa in kanat hawajis khayran fa hiya malaika if this good promptings if these promptings are good then it is malaika wa in kanat hawajis shar yani fa hiya shayatin and if it is uh, yani Uh, yani in kanat hawajis khairin fa hiya malaika if it is good prompting then this is angel wa in kanat hawajis sharrin fa hiya shayatin if it is a negative thought then it is the devil fa hadha qawlul ilhadi this is this statement is a statement of apostasy we ask we we seek refuge in allah subha with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from that wa ma'al asaf as we learned last week sheikh said unfortunately Uh, هو في تفسير المنار uh, uh, it is in تفسير المنار of نقله محمد رشيد الرضا ان شيخه محمد عبده محمد رشيد الرضا quoted it from his sheikh محمد عبده that the angels are not real beings but they are just thoughts of prompting وهذا كلام الفلاسفه This statement is the statement of philosophy or kalam batil and it is a false and futile statement man aitaqadahu fa huwa kafir whoever believes in it for huwa kafir and such a person becomes a disbeliever lakin narju annahu naqalahu wa lam ya'takidhu however we hope that he just merely quoted it he does not hold that belief this is yani Sheikh giving excuse to uh, uh, Rashid Rida Muhammad Rashid Rida and what he quoted in Tafsir al-Mannar walakin naqalahu min ghayri ta'qib fihi khutura but is quoting the statement of Muhammad Abdu that angels are thoughts of prompting without criticizing the statement and just leaving the statement like that yani it's It, it it is dangerous because whoever picks up the book and reads now the tafsir al-manar 
would not know whether this is a false statement or a truthful statement. So cutting a wrong statement without criticizing it means perhaps that you are in support of it, that you, are, you, you believe in it. But if you cut a wrong statement, it's just like referencing a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and then you say, this is Sahih, alayhi kadhalik, versus referencing a statement that has been attributed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is not authentic, but you just say, kama jaa fi hadith, and then uh, yani, you kept quiet without criticizing whether the hadith is authentic, whether it is not authentic. And then whoever sees it in your kitab will assume that you quoted it because you believe that it is authentic. So it is upon the person of knowledge to clarify matters, especially matters of controversy. When you quote them, whether you are quoting someone, whether you are writing it somewhere, if it, is, uh, if it has some deficiencies in it and some level of uh, unacceptability, then you should state it there that even though you see some of the scholars because of the trust of knowledge, they will tell you that they, even though they bring the hadith in their book, they will say this hadith is not authentic but they will reference it perhaps so that you will know if you see it in another book uh, uh, discussing that particular thing. Alaysa kadhalik. And then Sheikh said, وَهَذَا كَلَامٌ بَاطِلٌ وَكُفْرٌ بِالْمَلَائِكَةِ And it is a disbelief in the angels. نَسْأَلُ اللَّهُ الْعَافِيَةِ وَالسَّلَامَةِ We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for yani, uh, 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 good and what? And, and peace. فَالْإِنسَانُ لَا يَدْخُلُ بِعَقْلِهِ وَتَفْكِيرِهِ So a man should not enter with his intellect بِعَقْلِهِ وَتَفْكِيرِهِ and his thinking. Don't subject your intellect. Don't subject your thoughts to this type of philosophical statements that have no basis in Islam. أَوْ يَنْقُلْ عَنِ الْفَلَاسِفَةِ Oh, you... Cut the statement of philosophers. I with I with or heretics. Yani you should not reference anything from them. Don't cut anything from them. Min umuriddin. Min umuriddin. In the matters of dunya, you can make reference to Plato. You can make reference to Aristotle. You can make reference to all your philosophers. But in the matters of din. When they bring their philosophical thoughts in explaining religious texts, whether in denying what has been affirmed or affirming what has not been affirmed in Sharia, then do not reference them, do not go to them. I hope it's clear. See, yani, what, what, fi, 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 umur, min, yani, min, from the matters of religion and what? Wa umur al ghaib and the matters of hidden and unseen. Angels, angels, angels are what? From the matters of unseen, hidden. We can't see them as Allah has created them. The way Allah created them, we can't see them with our eyes. But Allah gives them the ability to transform into forms that humans can see. Like when Jibril came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where the companions saw him, but he came in a human form. But in the form that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala created them, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw Jibril in its original form. He has 600 wings. But the angel that we spoke about, the angels with us, for him is an angel in front of him. For him is an angel in front of him and an angel behind him. For him is an angel in front of him and an angel behind him. In succession, offering protection for him by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you don't see the angel. There is an angel in front and an angel behind protecting you, spiritual bodyguard. But you don't see these angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entrusted with what? With the protection of humans. And then you have angels also. Yani, anil yameen wa anil shimal. 
Al-Qa'id. They are seated, one by the right, one by the left. But we don't see these angels. They write the things we do. The righteous things that we do, they write. The evil, the angel by the left right. But we don't see. So they are from the matters of unseen. Alayhi Kadhalik. So do not depend on philosophers with respect to these issues of the deen, especially issues that have to do with the hidden and the unseen matters, like the issues of the angels. وَإِنَّمَا يَعْتَمِدُوا عَلَى الْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ وَإِنَّمَا يَعْتَمِدُوا عَلَى الْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ You only depend, إِنَّمَا You only depend on Al-Kitab, bimana Al-Quran, you depend on the Quran. Was Sunnah and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadahu al-Wajib. This is what is obligatory. It is obligatory upon you and I. It is obligatory upon every one of us to depend on Quran and Sunnah when discussing the matters of the religion. Not on philosophers, not on some thoughts of prompting. Yes. Not on self-delusional intellectual uh, 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 intellectualism, but you depend on Quran and Sunnah. This is what is obligatory upon us. وَيُذْكَرْ فِي تَفْسِيرِ الْمَنَّارِ and it was mentioned in Tafsir al-Mannar أَنَّهُ مَنْ قُولْ مِنْ كِتَابِهِ من كتاب إحياء علوم الدين أو يذ يعني ويذكر he mentioned in the book يعني محمد رشيد ريدا in تفسير منار he mentioned that أنه that the statement that he said that angels are هواجس thoughts of prompting أليس كذلك هواجس they are thoughts of promptings not real beings that that statement was from what? Fi min kitabi ihya'i ulum al-din. From the book of Ihya'u ulum al-din lil Ghazali, of Imam al-Ghazali. Wallahu a'lam, and Allah knows best. Wa kitabu ihya'i ulum al-din, and the book Ihya'u ulum al-din lil Ghazali, of Imam al-Ghazali, شك فوزان بن فوزان حفظه الله سي فيه طوام وفيه بلايا. There are terrible and calamitous things in the book. There are terrible and calamitous things in the book with respect to Akida. Very terrible things because of the touch of philosophy and other things. وإن كان فيه شيء من الخير. Even though there is something of good in the book. Well, for wa'id and of benefits, yani there are beneficial things and some good in the book. Even if you find some good in the book and some benefits, lakin fihi min al muhulikat was sumum ashay al kathir. But in the book, Ihya ulum al din, Sheikh Fozan bin Fozan Hafidhullah, he said, there are things which can cause destruction, not physical destruction, spiritual destruction to your iman. In that book, Ihya'u Ulum al-Din, there are destructive things, things that will affect your Tawheed and Iman and your Aqeedah. Was sumum ashay kathira. It contains a great deal of poison. Look at what Sheikh Fawzan bin Fawzan is saying with respect to the book. Ihya'u Ulum al-Din of Imam al-Ghazali. Look at the advice he gave. Wa huwa kitabun mukhtalatun. شره أكثر من خيره. It is a book that is a mix. It is a mixed up book. It has good in it and evil in it. But here, شره أكثر من خيره. The evil contained in the book إحياء علوم الدين, with respect to the matters of Tawheed and Aqida, أكثر من خيره. It is much more than the good that you can find in the book. Chef Fozan bin Fozan is commenting, not Pen Abdul. Look at the advice now. And this is the beauty of teachers. This is the beauty of scholars. He finds something terrible and calamitous and poisonous in a book, spiritual poison. He tells you about it, then he advises you on how to interact with the book. 
شك فوزان بن فوزان حفظه الله يسيف لا يليق بالمبتدع أو العامي أو العامي it is not proper بالمبتدع for a beginner in the matters of seeking for knowledge أو العامي or a general mass the general mass is someone that does not have any relationship with knowledge a beginner or يعني a common person that he should look into the book that he should browse through the book it is not advisable it is not advisable for a beginner to just pick a hair or only din that he wants to read or a common person إلا إذا كان عنده علم وتمييز بين الحق والباطل. The only time that it will be eligible and proper for a beginner or a common person to pick the book Ihya Ulum al-Din, where the statement of the angels being the Hawajis is also referenced there. The only time that it's proper for you to pick it up. Is إلا إذا كان عنده علم if he has a knowledge or he has the ability to differentiate between بين الحق والباطل between truth and falsehood. Otherwise, don't pick it up. Don't read a book that scholars have identified certain calamitous and terrible things in. Don't read a book that scholars have warned you against that it contains spiritual poisons. That it contains spiritual poison. But if you can be able to identify the poison, no problem. Which means you have knowledge. So you can be able, just as he himself is telling us. If he has not read the book, he won't be able to know where the danger is in. But because he has knowledge to differentiate between the truth that is in the book and the falsehood that is in the kitab. Therefore, angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laysu ma'anin kama yaqul. They are not abstracts, as they say. These philosophers, angels are not abstract beings. They are real beings. Alaysa kathalik. Bal al-malaikatu ajisamun wa ashkalun. Angels have body وَأَشْكَالٌ and they have forms. Body and form. Wadah. So they are not abstracts. يَتْشَكَّلُونَ بِأَشْكَالِ أَعْطَاهُمُ اللَّهُ الْقُدْرَ عَلَيْهَا They transform to different forms. أَعْطَاهُمُ اللَّهُ الْقُدْرَ عَلَيْهَا Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them ability on. So the malaika transforms to human body. So he comes, normally Jibril alayhi salam would take the form of the hiya qalb, the, the, the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. The hiya qalb. And then he will come because he was a handsome companion. Angel Jibril alayhi salam would take the form of the hiya qalb. And then he will come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. Like the hadith we know, the famous hadith, hadith Umar. بينما جلوس عند رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يوم إذ طلع علينا ظرف that is why إذ يعني مفاجعة all of a sudden we just saw someone بينما that is what بينما does واضح إذ and then you know it was جبريل عليه السلام that came to them but he took what he took human form is that clear ولهذا كان جبريل عليه السلام يأتي إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في سورة رجول أو في سورة رجول أليس كذلك؟ so in, there is a mistake there yeah but here they make mistake that رجول مضاف مضاف إلى في سورة رجول فأعطاهم الله it will come in the form of a man فأعطاهم الله القدرة على التش Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives angels the ability to transform. Fi ashkalim min adli maslahati bani adam. 
to transform to forms because of the benefit of the children of Adam. Here, the good example that we just had now is the example of what? Jibreel alayhi salam. Also in glorious Quran, when the angels took the form of human to come to Ibrahim alayhi salam, the angels took human form and they came to, they came to Ibrahim alayhi salam and they gave him the glad tidings of what? Of the child and they equally told him of what? The punishment, the punishment that is going to be meted out against the people of Lut. But they took human form. فَقَرَّبَهُ إِلَيْهِمْ أَلَيْسَ كذلك مِنْ أَجْلِ مَسْلَحْتِ بَنِي آدَمْ Because of the benefit of the children of Adam. So when Jibril alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam, assume in human form, and then he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam, أَخْبِرْنِي عَنِ الْإِسْلَامِ what, who were those that were benefiting from it there? The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Jibril came, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hada Jibril. Jibril came to teach you the matters of your deen, your religion. So it was for their own benefit, but it took human form. Min ajili maslahati bani Adam, li'anna bani Adam la yutiquna ru'yati al-malaika they take the form of human because the children of Adam because the children of Adam they are not able to see the angels in their original form that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala created them on. Like you seen in Jibril in, with the 600. We are not able to see the angels. They only come to the Prophet in the form of a man. The angel assumed the form of man and he came, he came to the Prophet Sallallahu and that ability to transform to human and to come to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is rifqan bibani Adam out of kindness for the children of Adam. Wadah? Rifqan bibani Adam. Rifqan bibani Adam. It is what? It is out of kindness to the children of Adam Alayhi Salaam. Out of kindness to the children of Adam Alayhi Salaam. Rifqan bibani Adam. وَلَا يَرَوْنَ عَلَى سُورَتِهِمْ وَحَكِيقَتِهِمْ إِلَّا عِنْدَ الْعَذَابِ They do not see the angels عَلَى سُورَتِهِمْ in their original form that Allah created them وَحَكِيقَتِهِمْ in their real form إِلَّا عِنْدَ الْعَذَابِ except at the time of punishment قال تعالى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most high he says يَوْمَ يَرَوْنَ الْمَلَائِكَةَ لَا بُشْرَى يَوْمَ إِذِلْ لِلْمُجْرِمِينَ On the day when they will see the angels لَا بُشْرَى There will be no glad tidings يَوْمَ إِذِنْ On that day للمجرمين For the criminals So the criminals will see the angels in their original form وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذِ يَتَوَفَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَذُرِبُونَ وُجُوهَهُمْ وَأَدْبَارَهُمْ نعم فَذُوقُوا أَذَابَ الْحَرِيقِ وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذِ يَتَوَفَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْمَلَائِكَةُ If you were to see when the angels take the soul of those that have disbelieved يَذُرِبُونَ وُجُوهَهُمْ وَأَدْبَارَهُمْ hitting them hard on their faces and their backsides. And they say to them, test ye the burning punishment. So you won't see the angel 
humans do not have the ability to see the angels in their original form, but they see the angels in the adab. يَوْمَ يَرَوْنَ الْمَلَائِكَةَ لَا بُشْرَى يَوْمَ إِذِنْ لِلْمُجْرِمِينَ وَعِنْدَ الْمَوْتِ يُعَيَّنُوهُمْ They see the angels. Al-insan, the humans see the angels in the mouth at the time of death. يَرَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ الْمَوْتِ يَرَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ الْمَوْتِ He sees the angel of death. لَكِنْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَعَلَى قَيْدِ الْحَيَاءِ But in this world, and as long as he is alive, as long as he lives, عَلَى قَيْدِ الْحَيَاءِ As long as he lives, in this world, and as long as he lives, not at the time of death, not when punishment comes, not at the time of death, عَلَى قَيْدِ الْحَيَاءِ As long as he lives, لا يراهم he will not see the angels of Allah سبحانه وتعالى لأنه لا يطيق رؤيتهم because humans do not have the ability to see the angels خلقهم الله من نور this is what a refutation against the philosophers that say they are هواجس they are thoughts of prompting they are thoughts of prompting إن كانت هواجس خير فهو ملائكة وإن كانت هواجس شر فهي شياطين. Thoughts of prompting. They say it's just some thoughts in your brain. If it is a good thought, then that is angelic thought. If it is evil thought, that is what satanic. But there are no angels. They don't. But we believe that angels have body and they have forms. And as a a way of substantiating the position of أهل السنة والجماعة with respect to the angels. يعني خلقهم الله من نور الله created them from light وخلق الشيطان وخلق الشياطين من نار كما في القرآن and Allah created the devils from fire angels from light devils from fire and humans from what clay وخلق آدم من تراب and Allah سبحانه وتعالى created آدم من تراب Allah created Adam from what? Allah created Adam from clay. Is that clear? Fallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Fallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ability over everything. So Allah has the ability to create from light. Allah has the ability to create from fire. Allah has the ability to create from clay. Fallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Therefore, Allah, yani this fa'un is telling you because Allah created the malaika min nurin. Allah created the shayatin min narin. Allah created the children of Adam min turabin. Fallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Therefore, Allah has the ability to to create everything. وَالْكُفَّارُ يَعْتَقِدُونَ أَنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ بَنَاتُ اللَّهِ The kuffar, the kuffar, the kuffar, they hold the belief. يَعْتَقِدُونَ أَنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ أَنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ بَنَاتُ اللَّهِ they attribute them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the female daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That angels are the daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the glorious Quran, with respect to this evil aqeedah of the kuffar, Allah says, وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَاثَ أَشَيْهِدُوا خَلْقَهُمْ سَتُكْتَبُ شَهَادَتُهُمْ وَيُسْأَلُونَ وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ إِنَاثَ Allah says, and they make the angels who are servants of the most merciful. In reality, in reality they are the servants of the most merciful, but they make the angels as what? Females. إِنَاثَ أَشَيْهِدُوا خَلْقَهُمْ You can't see them. And then you say they are female, and the female, the female daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The question is, Ashayhidu khalqahum. 
did they witness their creation? Were they there when Allah created the angels such that they conclude that the angels are females? Were they there when Allah created the angels? Ashahidu khalqahum. Look at the way daughters of Allah will require evidence from you. Were you there when Allah created them? Allah says, Satukitabu shahada to whom were you saloon? Allah said their testimony that the angels are female daughters will be written and they will be questioned about it. You say the angels are females, it is going to be written against you and then you will be questioned about it. Al-Qawlu ala Allahi bila ilmi. Speaking about Allah without knowledge. وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنِ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا Who is eviler than this person? Who is more oppressive to his, to his own self than this individual who lies against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So Allah tells us. So a thalith, we are done with al iman bil malaika arkan al iman sitta a thalith, the third one al iman bi kutubihi al iman bi kutubihi belief in the books of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa hiya al kutub allati anzalaha allah ala rusul corrected there ala rusul alaysa kadhalik Not ala rasul, kutub, ala rasul. That Allah, these are the books, kutub, al kutub, alati anzalaha Allahu, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed ala rasul upon his prophets. Lihidayat al bashar, la mutta'alim. Why did Allah reveal books? Lihidayat al bashar, for the guidance of mankind. Look at the love, look at the compassion. Allah desires guidance for us. Hence, Allah revealed books to his messengers so that they will guide mankind using the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lihidayat al-Bashar. bi annaha kalamullahi haqiqa. We believe, nu'minu, we believe that the al-kutub, kalamullah, is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hakika in reality, wa nu'minu bima samma Allahu minha wa ma lam yusam. We equally believe in those books which Allah has mentioned. We equally believe in those that Allah did not mention. Allah told Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, prophets, messengers that we mentioned to you. And equally those that we did not even mention to you. Wa min whom? Man lam naqsus alayk. There are prophets that we didn't even tell you about our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Equally there are books that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we believe in those that Allah has taught us. We equally believe in those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not mentioned. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Those who believe in the hidden and the unseen. أَلَيْسَ كَذَلِكَ سَمَّ اللَّهُ لَنَا مِنْهَا Allah has mentioned to us and amongst the books that Allah mentioned to us at Torah, the Torah of Prophet Musa a.s. وَالْإِنْجِلْ the Gospel of Isa وَالْقُرْآنِ Al-Azim and the Quran, the tremendous Quran was Suhf Ibrahim wa Musa and the scriptures of Ibrahim wa Musa was Zabur and the Zabur of Dawood. For nu'minu biha, we believe in them. Wa nu'minu bima lam yusamme Allahu mina'a and that which Allah has not mentioned. For l-imanu bil kutub, therefore believe in the books of Allah as-sabiqa, those that have been, that came before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yakunu imanan mujmalan. So our belief in Torah, our belief in Injil, our belief in Zabur, our belief in Suf of Ibrahim Musa is general belief, not specific of what the laws of the book because we are not bound by it now. We believe. Mujmalan. Wal imanu bil Quran. As for iman with Quran, imanan mufassilan bi kulli ma fihi. Iman with the details of everything contained in it. Li annahu kitabu, li annahu 
kitabuna because it is our book wa unzila ala nabiyyina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been revealed upon our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam man jahada ayatan whoever denies a verse aw harfan or an alphabet min hurufihi from the alphabets of quran fa huwa kafirun such a person is a kafir murtadun an al islam who has left the fold of islam he has become an apostate ren is here and we are holding the class today outside so inshallah no darkness will not allow us to continue so inshallah we have 35 minutes may allah put barakah in what we have discussed we will continue from where we stopped subhanakallahumma bihamdik sharallahu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik